To further our discussion of patterns with shapes, there's something called a tessellation. Tessellations are really a fun thing to do for uh, an art project, and small children can do this, but a tessellation is actually a more advanced concept in shapes. But basically what we have here is a repeating pattern. We've taken one shape, put no space between the, uh, the portions of them, and uh, do a pattern, a pattern that repeats. Here I've done every other one, a yellow, purple, yellow, purple, and so forth, but it makes a pretty interesting checkerboard pattern. Again, preschoolers and young, young um, elementary school children would be fascinated with something like this. Uh, with colored blocks or pieces of paper or something, they could make these patterns just for In the this fun pattern, of it. I used the same color. These are uh, trapezoids. And you can see that by flipping them back and forth, you can um, make them fit perfectly together. In this case, uh, again, it's all one color on this, but these are triangles that, are, that have been placed up and down, up and down. So they're In they're this flipped. pattern, I used the, the rhombus. Change the color a bit, that makes the, the uh, decoration pop out a little bit more than these monotones, but uh, an interesting pattern. There's no space between the pieces. This could be done glued, a project, an art project, or a tessellation might be an actual assignment that's given in the upper elementary or middle school years in a math class. Tessellations. The arrangement of a single shape that form patterns you, without having any space between the items. So in that case, the single shape can be flipped or rotated, but it makes these beautiful patterns.